Hello everyone! So in today's tutorial, I already have my eyes primed. I'm going to be taking Force of Nature and Dreamer from my Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to begin blending that into my crease. No rhyme or rhythm, just to get some color on there to help the brighter colors blend much more easily. Okay, so for my first eyeshadow, I'm taking NYX Primal Colors Pressed Pigment in hot blue. I'm just going to be using a more precise brush for this. I'm just going to be focusing it on the outer V and just barely into my crease. Alright, so for the next shade, I'm going to be using the color Hot Green. And on a slightly fluffier brush, I'm just going to begin blending out that blue a little bit, but still keeping it pretty low in my crease. So for one of my lid shades, I'm taking the shade Hot Fuchsia in that same precision brush. I'm just going to dab that directly over the center of my eyelid. I don't want to take it too far into the inner corner, but I also want to avoid it from blending into the blue that's out in my crease. So I'm just going to take that precise brush and dab it directly over the center of my eye. So for my last shade, I'm going to be taking Hot Pink. I'm just going to be using a flat definer brush and putting that on the inner corners. I don't want to blend it too far into my lid because I still want you to be able to tell the difference between the pink and the purple on my eyes just to create some more depth. And this also makes the eyes pop more because it is much more neon than the rest of the colors. So a small but crucial step, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend all the colors together. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking a small definer brush, my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and then my NYX Roll on Glitter in just like a platinum -y shade. You could use anything that you want, basically. I just wanted to do something lighter and a little bit more different, so I'm just going to spray the brush and dip it into the glitter and just basically line my lash line. Okay, so I just applied lashes and I'm going to be taking my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as a primer. I really do love this primer, or balm I should say, used as a primer. Not only does it make your makeup last, but it makes your skin look so good for so long. So anybody that's in the market for a new primer, it's like almost $6 and you get 3 ounces. So it's really worth the money. I'm just going to be taking my... True Match Lumi in warm and neutral shades. I'm not sure which ones they were. Whatever foundation works best for you, you can go ahead and use that. And I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend it all out. Then for my concealer, I'm going to be taking my NYX HD Concealer in the shade 4. I like to use this one for more dramatic looks because it is lighter, so it's going to make my eyes and my face look a bit more contoured and just brighter all over. So I'm going to be kind of, um, concealing my under eyes, and I'm also going to be putting concealer on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. To set my face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and I'm just going to pat it all over my face with a powder brush. To give my face some warmth, I'm taking the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder in St. Lucia, and just using the bronzing powder, I'm going to go along the perimeter of my face just to give me some warmth and definition throughout my cheekbones. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics, just on the high points of my face. I did my eyebrows off camera for those who are curious. So I'm going to move on to the lower lash line where I'm taking the hot blue shade. I'm just going to use a very defined brush and just push it into my lash line as much as I can. And then once that's put on pretty heavily, I'm going to take the hot green shade on a fluffier brush and just going to begin blending it out. I want there to be a slight ombre effect and I also want it to be a bit more smoky. I don't want this to be harsh in any way. I just want it to be very blown out but yet colorful and precise. Next is the inner corner highlight. I went ahead and used uh, Super Mom from the Tartlet palette but you can use any shade you want. So up to you. 
Okay, so I went ahead and put on some lower lash mascara, and now moving on to the lips, I'm using Elizabeth Arden Neo Classic Coral in number 12. This is a very highlighter coral shade, even though the camera is picking it up as more red. It is a very pretty shade. You can obviously pair this look with a nude lip. I think that would make it much more wearable, but I thought why not go all out and pair the bold eyes with a bold lip. I do realize this is a lot of color on the face, but you know what? Do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever you want to do for whatever look. So this is the lip that I chose. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!